The new update of Nusantara OS is here. The version 5.4, which we are talking about in this video, based on Android 13 with the latest January security patch. This ROM includes some of the new changes, some of the new features which are added in this update. So let's find out all those changes and make sure to watch this video till the end. This ROM is actually having all the USB features. It, this ROM is also having the Pixel features too. If you're using vanilla version or Pixel version, Google Apps version, whichever you're using, it's definitely okay the first one is the first change which i found after installing this thing on my device is that we have the parallel space included if you move on the default launcher miscellaneous settings you will be able to see the parallel space it's not new thing although it's available in many other custom rooms already but Nusantara OS did not include that feature previously, but now it's there. You can use this thing if you want to, if you are a fan of Parallel Space or if you love Parallel Space to use on your device, you can use this or else you can simply ignore. It's totally up to you. The option is available in default launcher, so I don't think so. It's present in settings app. It might be there. It might not be. I haven't found that. The icon back support and some other options, which include some home screen settings, which includes the add app icons to home screen. Google search bar, which is optional. You can enable or disable that option. Also, the monet theming support. Although monet theming is just not perfect in the terms of icon themings, you need to use some other theming options, lawn icons, theme files, icon pack to theme those icons. Second one which I found is after installation this one, after installing this one is battery bar. At the top of the status bar, you just saw that bar which is considered as battery bar. It was actually one of my favorite features previously. When I used this thing in 2K15 or 2K16, this feature is now included in this one too. It's available, it might be available in some other custom rooms too, but I'm talking about Nusantara OS features and the changes. That is why I am sharing with you these features. This includes the thickness options and the colors which you can customize. This is actually quite interesting. You can use this thing if you want to use this battery bar. Also, this feature, this update includes some of the options in theming. Like this option, this update includes some Wi-Fi icons, which you can enable or disable some icons. Options are there. You can customize these. We have the signal icon customization. Many icon customizations are there, like iOS style icons, iOS style status bar and signal icons. We have a stack, we have a deep and some things like that. And same with that, you can even customize the navigation bar style to one UI, one plus, whichever you want to use, you can. Other options are just kind of same, but it also has the option for the home screen theming or system theming. You have the option to use a pure black theme, blur options are there and the default home page of settings home page is very easy to customize. I have sh shown that option in the previous update too. In the theming settings, we have some theme style options are there and you also have the option to choose the color source. The option is available in now in some other custom homes too. So yes, this is what we have. This is about Nusantara OS. The quick settings panel is also in light mode, which I of course love because after using this thing on my device, I think so this is now improving. It's not best. I'm not considering this custom room as best room because it is not. But right now it's improving in the previous update or you can compare it with this, their previous updates. This is quite improving. It also includes a VoLTE and Wo Wi-Fi indicator with this new update. So if you are the user who want to use a custom room which is having the VoLTE or Wo Wi-Fi icon, this custom room includes that. You also have the option to hide or remove the Nusantara logo from the status bar, which is enabled by default. In the previous update, they had included this QS page transitions. What is this? For example, if I enable this option and try to open this quick settings panel, you just saw the page transitions are there. So yes, things are quite good. Other than others, just basic same features available, data usage, quick settings, customization, some status bar customizations, traffic indicators and all. And these are the things which you have. These were things I just want to let you know about Nusantara OS latest version. The latest version link is available in the description. If this is officially available for your device, it is officially available for many devices. Although if your device is supported for this one, go and install this thing. If you want to link is already available in the description. This is all from today's short and simple video. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. And yes, I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye and take care.